Good morning. I'm in the mean loft. I'm in the green loft. Given my, my eye disability, uh, take it steady today. Um, but I'm, on, I'm still on track, so it's cool. Uh, but I've just made that. So it's just boxing in uh, the back of the seat so you can't see into the front, uh, which is good for a few things really. It means they can store things under the seat and it not come back into you. But also, they stack things against that. Uh, but as you can see, the heat pipe comes out there and uh, the diesel heater controller is there now the diesel heater controller for those who don't know has a remote control also so you can turn it on manually but also use the remote control now the reason why i put it there apart from the fact that the diesel heater is literally behind there is because they can turn it on when they get into the back of the van manually and then they'll keep the remote hopefully somewhere near the bed so in the morning when they wake up they can just click the remote and it will turn it on and stop blowing air and it's blowing air directly towards the back of the van which is probably the best uh, best thing really there's nothing in, in there's nothing in, in the way to stop heat getting to the back of the van uh, my van's a bit unusual in that um the diesel heat is at the back of the van so it blows heat towards the front of the van apart from i've got a pipe that twists up under the bed uh, so it heats the headboard so it goes between the um goes between the headboard and the doors so it does kind of heat the bed up but doesn't anyway this is just a much better idea obviously the, those twist as well so you can send the direction anywhere you want but right now i think that that's probably the best situation um obviously i'm going to finish this off there's going to be a finishing beam across the top to make it look better uh, and now i'm just going to start measuring up the kitchen uh, to make the kitchen doors i think it's big enough to have three doors and they're quite it's quite tall as well uh, anyway I don't, it's not it's tall it looks tall but then when you stood next to it it's like the perfect height for making food and stuff so it looks all right now uh, the rest of the van is about done still waiting on the solar panel brackets i can stick the solar panel up uh get the mppt connected up which would be ideal because running the diesel heater without uh power coming in isn't ideal um. <sighs> right. Well, I mean, where, where do I start here? So, I've uh, just boxed in that part um, and now I put the worktop on. Just cutting the worktop to shape. Um, I'm trying to get it to fit really up to this edge here. Uh, I need to trim this. This is what's coming off. So, I'm trimming the back edge off. Um, around three inches ish and then i'm gonna budget up maybe chop a bit more off that side so that it meets up to this bit here um and the sink and the hob are here uh, and the way it's gonna go the customer's just been here to let me know that they want the cooker this side and then the sink this side and then a gap in the middle obviously for chopping stuff up um you can kind of see what the cupboard doors are going to look like um, gas and water bottle potentially that side and then a shelf there so there's four compartments for food and stuff <sighs> this is my main thing that I'm on with today I'm not doing too much today my eyes are killing I'll be honest uh, well my eye is killing but they've just been to drop some more wood off and the worktop so I'm hopefully going to get the worktop down and screwed down and stuff today and then maybe cut out for uh, the sink and hob etc <sighs> right i'm going to show you what i've done um isn't my van such a disappointment in comparison to one that i'm building now anyway let's let's join me on my journey to work 
Here I am. I'm at work. Right. Sink, tap, hob, in, worktop. Done. What do you think? I've still not done the doors yet. I can't be asked today to do the doors. But kitchen is 90% done. The hard bits are done. Um, also, whilst I was at it, I made this thing. I didn't need to make this, I wasn't asked to make this, but I made this chopping board. If you look on the underside of it, it's got a round bit, roundish bit, and that fits in there. So you've got an extra work surface, and also you can put stuff in the sink and hide it in there. Not just a pretty face, am I? <laughs> No, I'm not. I think the saying is I'm not a pretty face. Anyway, should get on with making some doors now, shouldn't I? Yeah. So, got a cupboard door done. <sighs> a cupboard door. It's a start, isn't it? I mean, you can see the size of it. It's going to be a big old cupboard. Um, I need to tidy up as well. It's the current state. Ah, the issue is that the more I build in here, the less room I've got. So I'm just moving one th things to one side, to the other, to the other. Uh. Oh. But I think I'm going to call it a day now. It's like 6.37pm. Uh, get back on it tomorrow morning and finish those doors. Tomorrow morning, first job, finish those doors. Um, and then solar panels coming tomorrow. To get the solar on because uh yeah i want to crack that and then it's just little shitty jobs like cladding the sliding door working on the back doors and then eventually there's some carpet coming to carpet around that area i think maybe carpet the entire doors which is i'm not gonna lie a job i'm not looking forward to it is a faff of a job but that's what i get paid to do so i'm gonna do it aren't i so uh, but what it does mean is that when I'm doing those jobs, I don't need all my tools out, so I can uh, I can tidy up and the thing can be the van can be tidy. Once I've built this kitchen, there's only the laminate flooring to go down, uh, and then and then dirty work is done. I've got bits and bobs to do like plumbing and gas fitting and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, they're not big jobs, so the dirty work is about to be done. In fact, I'm half tempted to suggest bringing the floor in. Um, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. I'm trying to get as much of this... That went a bit fast, wasn't it? I'm trying to get as much of this wrapped up by the end of this week as possible. And then maybe I can do maybe one or two days next week to try to complete it. I think we're going to paint it over the weekend as well, so it may look completely different come uh, Tuesday morning when I come back or whenever I come back anyway thanks for watching again really appreciate everybody's feedback and everybody's support you complete me <laughs> I love you all bye Felicia